everybody. So we are staying at Universal Orlando's Endless Summer Dockside Resort. This is one half of the resort. The other mm -hmm. half of Endless, Res of Endless Summer is the surf, surf side. side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this entire place kind of has this theme of being kind of beachy, having surfboards, kind of Cali feel. Yeah, very much yeah. so. And so this is our first time trying this particular hotel. Mm -hmm. It's rather new. Yeah, see, this, this particular hotel opened last December, so it's only about two months old. The other side opened last year, mm -hmm. or maybe the year before. I cannot remember. So we're going to be showing you all the different things that we find around here, but we wanted to take a quick moment and talk about the room itself, because that's really important mm -hmm. when you're staying at a place. Now, which kind of room is it that we have? We have a two bedroom suite. So we do have an extra bedroom, and then I think it's three beds total. It can sleep up to six people. We have an upper room, pool view. And I feel like this room does kind of capture the feel of Cali. Mm -hmm. It gives you the feel of those kind of cheapo, and it sounds bad, but it, sound, it feels like one of those cheapo beachside motels, but they've upscaled everything. Yeah. They actually put lots of thought into how they're doing this. Right. And you can see what we've got here with some of our power options, but it also has built-in USB and USB-C, which is something that I've not really seen before. Correct, yeah. One of the strange things about this hotel that I have seen in pictures and now I've actually seen out our window is that back over there, we have a view of the pool. And on the other side of the pool is the street. So it like juts up to Universal Boulevard as well as the streets that are around the hotel. So if you're going down Universal Boulevard and look over, you can see into the pool area. I'm not exactly sure how I like that, but there are a lot of trees and bushes, so mm -hmm. you can't quite see in, but you can. There's a lot of also big buildings there. Right. So it, it does kind of obscure a lot of that. This is a nice, clean feeling room. It kind of gives you the smell of chlorine. A little bit, yeah. Which I think is how they cleaned it, but they cleaned it that way specifically so that you kind of get more Probably. of a feel. Yeah. It is very echoey, so yeah. yeah, it gets loud if you all are talking. Uh, for me personally, it, it looks like there is a really good amount of storage space under the beds. Mm -hmm. There are some drawers, but in the bedroom, the, the little tables that you usually next to the side of your bed are about this big. And so for us, that's just not a lot. Um, places to put things, especially when you have a lot to charge. There, there's just not a lot of room in the bedroom. Here you're fine. It looks like there's plenty of space with uh, the plugs over next to the bed. And then in this little area right here, there's kind of a strip where you can plug a bunch of stuff in to charge it. But in the bedroom, you're kind of there, there just isn't a lot of room for a CPAP machine yeah. or uh, any other kind of assisted breathing devices that people might need to mm -hmm. sleep. Um, but they're kind of working with some limited space here. Right. That's a that's a possibility. But there's also, from where you're sitting right now, you've got a lot of storage options right. up here because there's a big shelf that yeah. you are currently being recording from. Yeah. I did get a chance to sit and lay on one of the beds. It's firm but not hard. I feel like I can really sleep well here. Mm -hmm. um, and this is really good for a family. This room yeah. is great for a family. I agree. Especially yeah. because the parents can be in their own room and as long as the kids stay at like normal talking level, it's not so bad. It's really not. And I did notice too that down at the pool area, it's really nice. There's some sandy places for the kids to play. The pool itself is huge. And I do like, though other people might not like, that depending on what time of day it is, if you're sitting on one of the chaise lounges, you can be in the shade because the building will cast a shadow. Mm -hmm. So for someone like me who hates being in the sun, that is great. Mm -hmm. For people who like the sun, they're probably going to complain about that, but I will not. <laughs> well, maybe that's also where Surfside comes in. Maybe the design of Surfside might be a little different. It could be because the way that this, this hotel is, the, the angle of the sun is definitely different depending on where you are. That's a very good point. So we are going to take you through the rest of the hotel as we go along and show you all the little things that you can get. I know I'm going to be doing some damage in the store because they have some themed merchandise that I am all about. Yep. And it's vacation, so we're splurging. Mm -hmm. So stick with us. <laughs> 